Hey, 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 friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 16th, 2021. Happy Friday, everyone. Um, we had a market yesterday that experienced just a little bit of selling, but the only index that has any technical damage at all is the IWM. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we buckle up? Settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you all for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can um, get some information out of this about how we might want to approach the market for today. Let's take a look here on our Dow chart. We certainly have this bullish pattern um, here in this chart trying to push on higher and there seems to be kind of a relentless push here in the Dow. We're really, really trying to break some resistance levels and set all time highs in um, the Dow with this uh, concern or uh, really concerted effort to push this up. Now overnight we had futures down just a little bit, but boy, we're trying to perk that up this morning. Seems to be kind of the common mode anymore. Um, doesn't matter um, how um, ugly the futures might be overnight. We reverse those by the morning and just push for more upside moves. Now keep in mind, um, Asian markets saw kind of a mixed to lower open last night. The Bank of Japan, cap uh, monetary policy the same. European markets are mixed and really um, rather cautiously trading this morning. Um, but boy, everything is bullish here. Um, US just keeps pushing and pushing and pushing for more highs. So you wanna kind of keep that in mind. Um, although there is bullishness, there is reason to believe that there is a little concern here as well. So let's take a look. We have this resistance high in here that we need to push through and they're really gonna try, it looks like this morning, to do that. However, we do have retail sales numbers this morning that could um, uh, you know, um, aid in that aid in that attempt to push us through or could hurt us depending on how that number comes out. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at the SPY. Um, SPY also very good condition. Trend is certainly bullish. We did bend just a little bit here, but all we did was bend back toward the trend. If we can find support in this area, and we, we seem to be showing that this morning, that in this pre-market, if we find support, then we could continue to extend on up here um, in the market. However, there is one little hitch in this giddy up, and that might be the fact that some of big tech finally started to catch a little bit of profit taking and it is pulling back just ever so slightly here. Um, pulling back toward this very, very bullish upside trend. And if those tech stocks were to continue to sell off, I want you to see how, how we can really quickly break this upside trend if they were to sell off. Now, I'm not suggesting that they will, but just watch that carefully. And if they begin to um, gain a little momentum to the downside in the sell off, it may be very difficult for the overall market to stay up. However, if they continue on the path that they're on, if we can hold this level right in here, if we can see those bulls stepping right back in and pushing us up, no reason to believe in this chart that we can't continue to extend here in the market. Now I say extend because we are really extended here in the NASDAQ. Um, we know our valuations are extremely high um, in the NASDAQ and um, we just continue to push and push and push like there is no tomorrow here um, in these charts. So you wanna watch that closely. And what I mean by that is stay with the trend, but don't become complacent. You don't wanna sit back and think this is never going to fall because trust me, one day it will. And I think when it does come back um, to some reality, it could be a rather painful fall in that process. So watch that closely. Right now, very, very bullish. Let's stay with the trend. Let's continue this party as long as this party 
um, wants to keep moving. Keep in mind that we saw news uh, right after the bell yesterday. Janet Yellen expects rapidly rising inflation for the next several months. And at the same time, we have Jerome Powell out there saying, I'm going to keep the pedal to the metal. We're going to keep printing $120 billion a month and maintain those easy policies. But we also want to keep in mind that we have an FOMC meeting next week. Um, I doubt there's any rate change decisions, but they could start um, backing off just a little bit on some of this easy monetary policy. So kind of keep that in mind as you plan forward um, in the week ahead. One thing we do have to make note of is our deficits are out of control. Our, our um, budget deficits are, uh, well, unseen numbers. Um, and our uh, trade deficit just continues to worsen. So as those continue to, um, to spread out, we still have some challenges ahead. Um, although we're really, really trying to ignore those issues right now. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM is the only index in here that is suffering any kind of technical damage. And you can see here in IWM, we broke our 50-day moving average. Our shorter-term moving averages are crossing down. That 50-day moving average is flattened and turned over pointing to the downside. And we have technically entered a downtrend with a lower low, lower high, lower low in that chart. Now, I don't think that we're just gonna continue sinking here. We rarely sink in a straight line if we're going to go down. But I do think there is some technical problems here in IWM that we'll wanna pay attention to. And any rally back in this chart, and we could rally back right up into like this price resistance level, maybe into here, we could also consolidate across here until we rejoin that trend and resume to the downside. I do expect IWM will be heading down toward that 200 day moving average, however, um, and I don't know what kind of timing that would be, but I do expect with this failure at the 50, we're likely to see the 200-day moving average eventually here in IWM. Let's take a look at our um, VIX. Now our VIX just continues to kind of camp out here around this support area. You can see if I place my support resistance lines on here, just continues to kind of camp out. And even as we try to push higher, in the market, we're not um, dumping off fear here. And you can see we actually had a little bit of elevation yesterday in fear just simply because of tech selling off. Now let's watch this closely. We could reverse this today if we get good retail sales numbers that inspire those bulls. We may just as well uh, push this on down and continue to to break the support levels in the chart. However, we do want to kind of keep an eye on it. If we um, retail sales were to disappoint in some way, not suggesting that they will, but if they were to do that, notice that we did test that 50 day moving average yesterday um, in the VIX and that possibility that we still have, let's look at this right here carefully, that we still have that possibility that this could be a lower, or excuse me, a higher low here in the VIX. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Now, I think T2122 tells us quite a bit here. If we look at this, yesterday everyone got the impression that we were just bullish, bullish, bullish across the board. Um, in the market, although we had tech selling off a little bit. But what I want you to notice here in T2122, um, this, by the way, this is the four week new high, new low ratio. So it takes, it's really simple. The four week new highs divided by the four week new lows and gives us this ratio. And you can see that we didn't change at all yesterday, even though we had that impression of bullishness in the market, we really didn't change at all here, which really means the majority of stocks are still kind of drifting along in that sideways move. It's very specific stocks that are keeping us elevated and keeping us up and making things look good. And no reason we can't see that continue. But let's just keep in mind the overall market is showing a little bit of concern here. Now, T2122 doesn't give us any idea of direction. It just tells us where we are based on an oversold or overbought condition. 
So that being said, being down in this area, should we find some bullish inspiration here today um, in those retail numbers or earnings reports? We've got plenty of upside opportunity if we can um, find that inspiration. However, if those bears find a little inspiration, we certainly have room that we could move lower here in the chart. So right now, you got to give it up to the bulls. They are relentlessly pushing to the upside and there seems to be no stop. So I kind of have to go with those bulls, at least for now, and follow those trends. Let's take a look at our T2122. Whoops, T2101. And T2101, this continues to concern me. While we pushed back up yesterday, recovering from those um, that gap down low yesterday, um, notice that we just saw no market breadth. Uh, I mean, it's just a remarkable thing. As we rally, the breadth of the market just continues to die off. So we continue to have this really, really um, wide um, divergence here in market breadth and um, overall market condition. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, maybe we can find some inspiration today and get it moving. I don't know, but watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, we've got a couple of things that we want to pay attention to. I've already alluded to the fact that we have retail sales this number uh, this morning. Retail sales um, certainly can move this market around. Um, uh, it is one of those big market movers uh, or potential um, reports. So we'll want to keep an eye on that as it rolls out here before the market opens. We also have um, a Fed speaker out here talking. Um, and keep in mind that next Wednesday, we get the Fed rate decision. So the FOMC meeting begins next week. Um, we know what that means. Usually it means um, choppy, choppy markets as we wait for their decision. Um, we also have business inventories and consumer sentiment. Um, unlikely that these will move the market around a whole lot, but we want to pay attention to it. And then that Treasury International later today, but nobody's going to care about that. So um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar, we have a rather light day with only nine companies um, that are actually verified reports for today. And of those nine companies, there's not that many notables. So um, the, the notables that I've pulled out, um, and by the way, you guys can get the full list of notables every single day, and we're going to reach a point where I can't cover them all in the morning. Um, so um, you'll want to um, you'll want to pay attention to that. Um, um, that you can get that entire list of notables just by clicking the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and um, get the full list. But today we can cover them all. SCHW it will be reporting today. Um, keep an eye on Schwab. That's going to be um, an interesting report. Notice that we've been running in a little bit of a downtrend here in this chart. So this could be really important for today. Will we, will we be able to uh, produce a good enough earnings result to pop on through there? Or will we continue this move uh, to the downside, perhaps setting a new low? in that chart. So keep an eye on Schwab. We um, should also keep an eye on KSU. KSU. Uh, Kansas City Southern has been um, on an obvious downtrend here, so this could be a critical report. Notice we're trying to hold some price support in here as well. So we have that decision point that could be made here. Do we break that downtrend, maybe hold and get an uptrend started again, or do we continue this failure? to the downside breaking some more support so keep an eye on ksu also keep an eye on state street state street will be reporting today um, watch that closely as you can see we've got this little downtrend going on here but we also have this little uptrend so we're kind of wedging and almost a pennant type pattern um, watch that close this could be very critical report whether we're going to break this um, little downtrend or if we're going to break this um, support area and start looking lower here in State Street. So watch that close as we move along. 
All right, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you have seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be useful, to be helpful, please smash that like button and also continue to drop those brief comments. It can even be an emoji in there, but it's the, it's the reaction, it's the engagement to the video that helps a lot. So for all of you who do take the time to do that, it means the world to me. Thank you so much. And I do try to answer um, as many of those as possible. Um, I uh, um, Some days just gets too overwhelming um, with the work um, that I have, but um, I do try to answer them all and I do read them all. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time. It means, means a lot to me. Also, thank you so much to those folks who have been supporting the channel through Buy Me A Coffee. Truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Now let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And we're going to talk a little bit about both sides here of the market. One of the, one of the areas that I want to bring up, take a look at XLF. Our financials here are trying, and as we get through earnings, we're tr we tried to, um, yesterday to rally back up, but let's kind of keep in mind, we're still underneath that 50-day moving average here in the chart, and notice that that 50-day moving average is flattening out. Now, that doesn't mean we can't push on through. If we can find enough bullishness here, we could push on through. But I got to tell you guys, I'll be watching the financials in here for that possibility of a failure again watching this level in here watch that potential for that failure to the downside um, i can't say that that's going to happen but i will not be bullish on uh, the financials until i can see them break that 50-day moving average hold up here and then show me that they're ready to push on through till then i've got to stay a little bit on that bearish side so you might want to keep an eye on some of those um, uh, big banks, as they rally toward resistance levels, they could set up um, um, obvious shorts um, in those charts. So watch that closely. I think it would be a really good idea for a long side idea to take a look at steel. Um, um, steel is trying to come up here a little bit and um, we saw Goldman come out um, and ranking um, iron and iron ore um, as a um, a very in, in a bull market so keep an eye on this STLD was one of the better here yesterday we were perking up but ended up at the end of the day pulling back just a little bit it may not be quite ready for prime time here but I think if a person were to set an alert possibly next week if we can hold this area we could see that starting to perk on through um, and moving on up. So watch that closely. We know Congress is trying to move forward with an infrastructure bill and some more spending. So um, that possibility certainly would exist here for that potential move to the upside. Um, also included in there, you might take a look at like CLF. CLF is trying to show um, just a little bit of price support right in here. It tried to move up a little tiny bit yesterday, ended up giving it back, but this is a rather bullish pattern setting up as we pull back here into trend. We just need that inspiration to move on higher. So keep an eye on that. Um, steel might be a place to look. Um, you might also um, find some love over here in um, um, solar. Now, solar has pulled back here recently and notice that we are pulling back toward that 50-day moving average in the chart. So watch this in here on TAN. If This is the uh, solar ETF, by the way. If we can hold this support in here, there is that possibility. We may have to bounce around in here and start moving up, but we know this administration is extremely favorable to um, these um, alternative energies. So watch that closely if we can find some price support in there. Not ready for prime time just yet, but may come back around. Another place that I think has been really extremely bullish, take a look at some of these big retailers out there. Take a look at like uh, Dollar General. 
Dollar General continues to remain in this very strong bullish upside move, and we're trying to break through some resistance here in this chart. Might be worth keeping an eye on Dollar General. You can see this is a big resistance area up here. If it can push through, then there are blue skies up above there that um, could signal some more upside. Take a look at like Home Depot. Home Depot showing some strength yesterday, finally popping up a little bit. Now we've tried this before, trying to pop through. Notice we've popped and popped and popped in here, trying to push through and just lack that momentum to really pop through this little resistance area in the chart. But let's keep an eye on that. That opportunity does exist here. And if we can find bullishness in those retail sales, might be just the perfect opportunity right in here to continue to stretch on up and maybe come up here and attack these highs in Home Depot. I could say the same for Lowe's. Lowe's had a good day yesterday uh, pushing on up. Notice we're holding that support, setting that potential trend here. We just have a little bit of struggle here as we deal with this price resistance right through there. So if we can push on through, if we can find that inspiration, certainly um, some good, um, Good vibes could be felt there if that continues. Then let's take a look at Target. Oh my goodness, Target has just been on a tear um, here lately. Uh, notice in here, I'm gonna take this to a weekly chart just to give you an idea in here. Look at how many weeks this has moved up and almost no black candles at all. This has been an extremely strong move to the upside here on target. We're riding that eight exponential moving average, what we call a T-line run, and it just seems to continue to move to the upside. So watch that closely. Notice we've rested here just a couple little days, little dojis in there, that possibility that we could come on back and engage that support continue to push on higher. So keep a close eye on some of those retailers and particularly big retail um, seems to be doing quite well. I could throw um, Costco, um, whoops. I could throw Costco into that mix. Costco's trying to perk back up here. Um, and I've even been seeing um, Wal Walmart, um, Walmart trying to improve itself, picking back up here above its 50-day moving average, testing some resistance and that possibility we could push on out in that chart. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Um, everyone, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all the best today.